Welcome to the Global Learning Team's Introduction Video to Exchange Programs. Please note that due to the COVID-19 outbreak, there are currently travel restrictions in place for University of Canberra students and staff. However, we are hopeful that by the time you join us ready for your overseas experience, we will be able to assist you in finding an exciting opportunity. The University of Canberra is pleased to offer students exciting exchange opportunities during their studies. This is open to most degrees and run for one to two semesters. Students can choose from a partner university or independent option, with over 300 opportunities in over 40 countries. The benefits to you of going on exchange include that it is part of your degree and not an extension. It is a valuable international experience with enhanced employability. Meet new friends, new culture, new experience. You can increase self-confidence and problem-solving skills and the opportunity to travel with your degree. Before you start planning your exchange program, there are a few things you need to consider. Firstly, academic. You will need to seek course advice to work out what semester is the best fit for your course progression plan, which university is the best unit matches, and what program is best fit for your degree. Eligibility. Have you completed a full year of study, which is equal to 24 credit points? Do you have a GPA of 4.5 or above? And can you demonstrate skills manage a new and challenging academic and social environment? Personal things to consider include what are your goals? Where do you want to go? How does your budget affect which programs you can do? And what challenges will you face? Often students feel that there can be a number of barriers to studying overseas. Let's discuss some of the common misconceptions. Firstly, financial. There are funding options available for HEX eligible students or Australian citizens, including scholarships, grants and loans. You can also travel some cheaper or travel to a location with a scholarship attached to it. Language. All universities offer a majority of their courses in English. If you are worried about the local area, choose to study in a Western country. You do not need to know the local language to complete an exchange or study tour. However, if you are currently studying a language and would like the opportunity to take units in the host country language, then you are more than welcome to. Time commitment. If you are worried about taking time away from your family, relationships or job, consider a short-term program as they run for two to six weeks. Most faculty study tours are also only two to four weeks long. Administration. The global learning team are available to support students through the whole process. Book an appointment or drop in the student centre during visiting hours for advice on the next steps. Extending your degree. All global learning programs count for credit and do not extend your degree. A contract is signed by the student and academic advisor, which guarantees credit when you return. If you are unsure about where to start, then book an appointment or drop into the student centre during visiting hours and say hi to the team. If you are worried about travelling with strangers, then you do a faculty stay tour, which is run by UC staff and only has UC students. Travelling abroad can be a daunting experience, but we would never put any of our students in unsafe or risky environments. We also offer a variety of support services throughout your experience. If you are worried about your anxiety or mental health, then as well as providing support before, during and after you leave for abroad, there are lots of support services available to you at your host institution. So let's talk a little bit more about Exchange. Exchange is a long-term program that is organised by one of our partner universities through our third-party provider ICEP or Broad option. So you will pay UC student fees unless you go through study abroad, where you will pay fees directly to that host university. You are a full-time student on exchange. Classes are mostly in English and you will follow an academic program. Other things to consider are that applications open at least six months 
months prior to the planning stage semester and sometimes earlier. It's really important that you research where you would like to go and which semester to start thinking about your personal arrangements and expenses. So when you go on exchange, as mentioned, we have opportunities all around the world. Some of our partner organisations include the University of Wales in Canada, the University of Northern Colorado in USA, the University of Hertfordshire in the United Kingdom, the Hong Kong Institute of Education in Hong Kong, and Ulu University in Finland. Financial assistance. An OS help loan is available for eligible Commonwealth support place students. You are able to borrow up to 8,295 Australian dollars per six month of study period in any Asian country and up to 6,913 Australian dollars per six month study period not in an Asian country. There are no fees and no interest accrued on loans only in the Asian a loan is added to your HEX debt. Other things to consider are that you can only have a maximum of two loans during your lifetime and there is a language supplement available for Asian countries. Grants and scholarships. The new Colombo plan is for Indo-Pacific destinations. You're able to get up to $3,000 for short-term mobility and there is up to $60,000 for long-term scholarship programs. Locations and availability differ annually, so please speak to the global learning team if you are interested. Other things to consider are exploring alternative options that are external to the university and looking at all scholarships, not just those aimed at mobility. So the steps to a UC student exchange. Firstly, you need to explore the university options and costs. Find out if you're eligible by speaking your faculty and then complete and submit the UC exchange student application. You will need to get credit approval from your course convener and use the course credit transfer agreement form, otherwise known as the CCTA form. If you have been accepted into the UC exchange program, then you will need to complete the application form for your host university. Start preparing a budget of living expenses and apply for a scholarship, grant, or loan to help fund your trip. You will need to attend mandatory UC briefings and departure meetings run by the global learning team. Then it's time for you to arrange your travel, visas, and accommodation. So how to apply? Log into your My UC Student Portal. From the left-hand menu, select Study Overseas and then UC Student Exchange. Like the apply now button at the bottom of the page. Before you do apply, please make sure you have all of these things at your fingertips. A copy of the latest course map or study plan from your faculty, your student ID number, the name of the host university where you'd like to study and the relevant course, as well as the semester and year you would like to go. Thank you for listening. If you have any further questions, then please connect with us through the following links. You can visit our website. You can email us at global.learning at canberra.edu.au or sign up to our mailing list updates. We also have a social media Facebook and Instagram page and you can follow the hashtag UC Global Learning. Thank you.